Biochar is essentially charcoal made from cooking biomass like wood chips at high temperatures in the absence of oxygen. This process is called pyrolysis and it creates a very high carbon product called biochar. In fact, if you've ever had a campfire and found large chunks of charcoal at the bottom of the fire afterwards, you've actually made biochar yourself. Biochar has a lot of different uses, but it's primarily used in agriculture, even going back thousands of years where the ancient Amazonians used it to improve soil health so they could grow more food. What has changed with biochar is new technologies like the Rocket Char 301 that allow farms and regenerative ranches to utilize waste material while generating heat and creating biochar. Biochar and regenerative agriculture go hand in hand as a natural way to improve soil health, all while reducing chemical inputs for things like fertilizers and reducing inputs like water required to grow crops. The other benefit to utilizing biochar and regenerative agriculture is utilizing waste material that may be available on farms and ranches. If the farms and ranches also have a need for heat, this can be combined where they're utilizing waste and generating heat while also creating biochar that they can use to improve their soil health. Biochar carbon credits are also extremely valuable because biochar is easy to weigh and measure and also lasts for thousands of years in the soil. That's why biochar carbon credits are typically worth over $100 per ton. Biochar provides a variety of benefits to soil health, including things like retaining more moisture and increasing the microbial activity in your soil. This is one of the huge benefits about adding biochar to your soil, and this can be done on large-scale applications and small-scale applications. One of the most popular ways that we see biochar added to soil is by blending it with manure and then sort of spreading it. We're also seeing a lot of biochar being incorporated into composting operations, which ultimately the compost is applied to the soil. Biochar in seed mixes, including cover crop, like this cover crop seed from our friends over at Millbourne Seed in South Dakota. By blending biochar in seed mixes, you can actually maximize the benefits of the biochar by putting the biochar right next to the seed. In the future, we think that adding biology and nutrients to the biochar before blending with the seed will enhance benefits. We actually have a large-scale cover crop project coming up with Millbourne Seeds where we're going to be applying biochar on 3,000 acres of cover crops per year over the next five years where we will be monitoring the soil health benefits over that time. Blending biochar with manure can help reduce nitrogen and phosphorus runoff. By adding biochar to your pens, it can be incorporated with hoof action or you can add biochar to your manure lagoons for larger scale applications. By combining biochar with bale grazing activities, we can significantly improve our soil health. A perfect example of this is unproductive areas in a field. By applying biochar first and then setting a bale on top of that, we use the natural hoof action to incorporate that biochar, the manure, and the seeds from the hay all into the soil, significantly improving that part of the field. Feeding small amounts of biochar can provide a wide range of benefits to livestock, including reducing toxins buildup in the digestive system, increasing milk output, reducing the need for antibiotics, and even reducing methane output. This can even be enhanced on regenerative farms that have dung beetle populations where the biochar mixed with the manure is incorporated into the soil by the dung beetles without having to use any farm equipment. My story with biochar and regenerative agriculture goes back six years. When I lived in Shadron, Nebraska, smack dab in the middle of farm country, and I was watching all the old style farming methods being used, and I was watching these piles of wood waste being burned in the national forest, and I felt like there had to be a better way. I hooked up with the Nebraska Forest Service back in 2016, and we started researching biochar and learning how we can utilize biochar on farms. In 2017, the Great Plains Biochar Initiative was formed with a focus on educating people on the benefits of biochar, which falls right in line with regenerative agriculture in Kansas and Nebraska. In that time, we've conducted numerous studies and feed trials with universities across the country, including in 2018, the first biochar feed trial where we were able to reduce methane from livestock by about 10% at the University of Nebraska. Since then, our focus has shifted from making biochar to making the equipment that produces biochar, and that's where the Rocket Char 301 was created. We're currently going through a U.S. Department of Energy program at Colorado State University to help commercialize the Rocket Char 301 technology. This is where we will be working with regenerative farms across the country to turn their waste material into heat, biochar, and carbon credits, which will be sold through our biochar co-op, which we're creating.